with Big Muddy when my friend was like, hey, you should join this cool RSO that I'm in. They make film festivals. And at first I was like, uh, and then I went to a couple of meetings and I really didn't think much of it. But as soon as I, like, I started talking to people and meeting people and like getting in depth with what we were doing, I was like, this is actually really cool. We're doing something and actually making a difference. Well, my experience with Big Muddy began in my uh, freshman year in the uh, fall 2014 semester. I came across it during the RSO involvement for, for Mi'kmaq, and it was called Film Alternatives at the time. And uh, I thought it would be cool like, to run a film festival. That sounds really awesome, like, you know, cans and Sundance. Like, that's pretty much like my dream of going to one of those one day. So it's like working on like, it made a better idea of how those actually work and how like, they actually pick their films. So that was like the biggest attraction to me to join Film Alternatives, but then like, and he spent my freshman year there as a president. It was like a good year working there and stuff. And then like pretty much now I'm a, it's my third year here at SIU. And like I'm still with it and now it's called Big Money Crew because like, I'm learning even more about how festivals work because like we're constantly adding new things every year and like pretty much like trying to evolve it. My favorite aspects of the Big Money Film Festival is definitely like the outreach, like just reaching out to people and making it aware that the Big Money is here and that like we're one of the oldest student-run film festivals in the nation. Like, I don't think people know that, and that's the big thing about this club. Like, I think that's the unity that brings us together, because it's, it's been around for so long, and we have so much, um, we have so much, like, collections of things, like, within this small town. So I, I think that's a big deal, and that's important to me. My uh, favorite moments are pretty much, it's like, uh, honestly, the workshops, whatever, like, visiting filmmakers would get. Because like, it's always great to hear like the experiences that they get like right after they leave film school, like how like the transition period before they become like a big filmmaker, and like like and after pretty much. Like it's always cool to hear like that period that we never really hear about on like the Wikipedia page or the IMDb. Like just pretty much get a better idea of like what you would expect once you would, like leave film school. Like it's not like straight to film school and then straight to Hollywood. I think it was like a more realistic and better idea, I suppose. There's nothing else really like the Big Muddy here. Uh, the Big Muddy not only lets you have a lot of fun with the screenings and showing the festivals, and it also gives you a good sense of running a business, running the financials of it, and working with communication with the jurors and the other filmmakers. But it also gives you analytical skills watching the movies and deciding how we're going to organize them when we put them in the festival. And then you can explore the public relations and the advertising aspects. So there's really countless ways to tackle the Big, big Muddy because it's completely student run, we're in charge and we can do what we want. So if you come in with an idea, chances are if you have it well thought out and if we have the resources, we're going to be able to make it happen. My biggest dream and hope for the Big Muddy Film Festival is just like to be able to go as long as it as possible like to because next year is the 40th year like it'd be great to see it goes like the 100th year maybe and like just feels like grows reach even more like get much of a bigger audience like get even more serious interest and in stuff like pretty much make the big money even bigger well probably what's coolest about it is you get an interface with our jurors who are professional filmmakers and professional film critics uh, last year i got to talk to chris swamberg who uh is an alum of SIU and she got to give me some advice on some stuff I was working on that was really helpful and because you're part of the crew you have more access to them. Going to film festivals as early as 2005 and meeting all of these awesome filmmakers who at the time were at the same level that I was have since really progressed in their careers and a lot of them have made movies that cost that much at that level and have agents and have connections to people in the industry. So through them, um, I was able to get my script to several different eight talent agencies. Honestly, I really like just the connection that we all have as a crew, because I mean, you can have like groups of people doing things and they could probably just all hate each other. We all love each other. And the way we, we work so well together, that's how we get a film festival done every year. That's kind of the best part. And then the best part of the Big Money Film Festival is just the amount of films we get and the dedication that people put into making work and sending it to us from all over is just incredible.